Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke. And today I have another exhibition game from my uh, old time hockey league, Stratomatic League. Um, this time we're going to be playing on the road against the Islanders. The Islanders are managed by the league commissioner. And uh, so we will see how we do. I'm dressed in my uh, North Stars hat because I don't have a hockey hat of any kind. Uh, even though my current favorite team is, ironically, the Islanders. And my favorite team before they went defunct was the Minnesota North Stars. So um, there is that. And I am the Canadians in the old time hockey league because I joined the league when teams were already taken and the commissioner already had the Islanders. So I am the Canadians and we will be on the road for this exhibition game. So let's get started. Uh, hold on, let me turn down the sound so that we do not have that as a distraction. And then we will go ahead. I think we're ready to go. And I will do this and we will set it up so that um, the options are the way I want. I'm gonna say use sound even though I turn the sound down. Um, and we will also put everything on a one second delay so that um, we don't have the pinball effect of everything going back and forth, back and forth real quick. I don't like that. So, I mean, that's fine for when we're playing, when I'm playing my games during the season to play them, get them in quickly. But for um, televising the game, I don't really generally want to do that. And we have Carey Price in the net. He played last time. So I'm going to say that we will take a look at who the backup is for this game is, and that's Bobrovsky. So I will put in Bobrovsky because, like I said, Carey Price played the first exhibition game that we had against Colorado. If you didn't see that one, I will <clears throat> um, link to it at the end of the video in the, um, uh, in the end card so that you can click on it and watch that if you so desire. That was a good game. But let's get on with this one. <clears throat> So we got the face off and let's see what happens here. Nemeth comes away with it and Pulik takes it away and has an outside shot. And that is a save by Bobrovsky. So we have possession. I am going to try to intimidate certainly at 85% and we do get it back. And now Tom Wilson has it for us. And now he takes it away. Tyler Johnson has it. And Atkinson, he fed Atkinson. He has a breakaway. And that's a rebound. And offensive left wing, Tyler Johnson following it up. And he gets a save defensive center. So Benino has it for us. And Tatar is going to have a shot and I have to uh, I did not put it on um, line changes by the computer so I have to at the next card I'm gonna have to change lines because everybody out there is dog tired right now Bolivier has an inside shot And you would think that, here we go, I'm going to pause it as soon as the computer can pause it. Okay, so, um, visitor lines. I'm going to change to, this is going to be a pain because now I have to change uh, lines myself. Usually I like the computer to do that, but I forgot to set it up to do that. But now we have our second line out there. And he has a penalty. So we're going to have a power play right off the bat. 
and Klingberg goes out because he's on one of my power play lines and he was tired from the last pairing, but, you know, we'll live with that, I suppose. Um, Nick Holden has an outside shot option. He's just going to shoot. Forty uh, percent, I guess, is not terrible for passing, but I'm going to have to shoot anyway. Defensive right defenseman gets it. And uh, Victor Olofsson has a shot. I am going to say yes, select him. And I'm going to try to penetrate with him. Inside shot for center, it looks like. And that's Jason Wheel or Jordan Wheel. And that's not really good. So um, Georgiev makes the save. We're went. Wierenski has it. He gives it to Stone, Strom. And Bolivier has the puck. And now Ben takes it away, has an outside shot. Again, not really the greatest. And that's a save defensive left. Or right defenseman. Ben has a, an outside shot again. And again, not really a great result. Ben is not one of these high-octane scoring guys. Uh, Jordy Ben has the option to intimidate, and I will say yes. And Bolivier inside. He got inside and behind the defense, but Bobrovsky makes the save. And uh, Ben has the puck. Or no, he loses it now to Taze. And that's going to be a goal. So the Islanders have a one nothing lead here. And I will take this chance to put my third line out. So that goal was uh, Taze from Darren Helm and Pierre-Luc Dubois. And we will, let's see, visitor, lines... Um, now I guess I'll go to pair four for the main line and then back to one for the defense. And now we will face off. I guess this will work. I mean, I usually I like the computer just doing this automatically, but Suzuki with the puck. Shots are six to seven. We are behind in shots by one and behind on the scoreboard by one at one nothing. Nemeth with a breakaway. And that's that's going to be a result in the rebound. Hopefully we can get the puck. No, we don't. Pulak comes up with it. And uh, possible penalty, no penalty. So Klingberg has the puck. And he loses it to Rowenski, and he gets a rebound. I know it's going to be a, re a deflection by McDavid, and that's going to be another goal. Bobrovsky is getting schooled here by the New York Islanders, and we are down two nothing. We're down two nothing early, but it, that was how it was in the. Colorado the expansion game or expansion um, or uh, preseason game if you want to go back and check that out and we are again we have tired people out there but Zucker is inside let's see if he can score goalie rating nine rebound any defensive player four and he had one really I am going to try to intimidate and fail to take the puck away. Atkinson, defensive center. I have to put it on pause because I have tired people out there again. And Hutton, Ben Hutton, with an outside shot. And it goes to the right wing. And I, hopefully they will let me do it. Yes, they will. So I will go to line one. Uh, offensively and to line two de defensively. So, got fresh uh, skaters back out on the ice and Bolivier with the puck. Uh, 
Uh, no penalty. Bonino takes the puck. Strom takes it away from Bonino. Bonino. They're already tired. Unbelievable. Pesci with an outside shot. Defensive center. And Dubois has a puck, and he feeds Pulak right in front of Bobrovsky. And that's going to be a save right wing. I guess I have to put this on pause. Rowenski takes an outside shot. And that's going to be defensive left defenseman, and he should let me change now. So, yes, he does. Got to go to line two, and defensive pairing three. And here we go. We got fresh skaters again for the two or three seconds. But it's going to happen. Holden with an outside shot. And he gets, he loses it to the left wing. And that's the end of the first period, folks. We're down 2 nothing. We've got fresh people out there because the period ended and we just had 15 minutes to relax and talk about how we are losing 2 nothing to the Islanders. Tatar with an outside shot. That's going to be a save right defenseman. Pulak comes up with it. I'm going to try to intimidate at 85% for sure. And there's a penalty, of course, on Tom Wilson. Uh, looks like maybe it's offsetting or, you know, uh, coincidentals. Yeah. So uh, we have still have a five on five. Atkinson takes the puck for the Islanders. 80%. Um, so I am going to intimidate at 80% for sure. And Lowry does it. He takes the puck away. Uh, yeah, let's give the shot to Gallagher. That's a good choice. He has an outside shot. That's a 10. Save defensive center. Barzal comes up with it for the Islanders. And Lowry takes it away and has uh, an inside shot, I think. And uh, that's going to be a save right wing. Thomas comes up with it for the Islanders, but Olofsson takes it away, has an outside shot. That's going to be a rebound. And offensive left wing, Olofsson. Let's see if he can do it. Goalie rate 8. Goal! And I just cut the, the deficit in half. It's now 2-1. Islanders ahead. And yes, it looks like they put my new line out there, so... I mean, everybody's, um, it doesn't look like no, anybody's tired, so we'll stick with it. Radulov comes up with the puck, and uh, Strom gets it. Outside shot only for Nielsen, who takes the puck away, apparently, and has a lose to the right wing. And so Thomas, the right wing, comes up with it for the Islanders. And uh, now Taze has it for the Islanders. And Ben takes it away, has an outside shot, which will probably result in nothing of any note. And it doesn't. And now I have to put in the pause again at the very next point that I can. That the computer will allow it. Pulak with an inside shot. That's a goalie rating 7 face off. Okay, so um, we will go to... Lines, we'll go to line four offensively and pair number one defensively. I guess this isn't as much of a pain in the butt as I always envisioned it being, but I still would rather have the computer do it. Um, Jason Zucker, yeah, I'll give it to Jason Zucker for sure. And uh, he's got it. And there is no penalty on the play, but they take it away. They've got it. Pollock has it for them. And Wierowenski with a breakaway. Come on. And that's going to be a save defensive center. So Bobrovsky keeping us in this game. It's only 2-1. to one. Zucker with an inside shot, breakaway shot, goalie rating 11. Save any defensive player. 
and he gives it to McDavid, who's across from Wheel. We will do an intimidation shot, but it doesn't work, and LeBlanc has an inside shot for the Islanders. Save anybody. I'm gonna give it to <clears throat> I'm gonna give it to Suzuki. He's across from a C, and C is the worst rated penalty guy. Eckblad with an outside shot. And I have to put in another pause. Atkinson with an inside shot. Rebound. Offensive right defenseman if a two. I don't believe I don't have a two. That's crazy. Or offensive right defenseman. All right. So now I have to put in um, new lines. Go to line one. And pairing two on the D. Okay, everybody rested. Everybody ready to go. And Wilson comes away with it for us first. And he feeds Benino, who has an inside shot and goalie rating nine, nine rebound. And they get it back. So Pesci had it. 60% intimidation, going to definitely try that. And if we do get it back, so now Jack Johnson has it for our Montreal Canadiens. 40% intimidation will do that too. No penalty. But he couldn't take the puck away, and Thomas has an inside shot. And that's going to be a save defensive center. Bonino comes away with it. Bolivier with an outside shot. That's going to be a save defensive center. And Benino with it, so we're getting tired again. I have to get ready. Tatar, inside shot for Tatar. And that is going to be a save. And yes, let's put out a new pairing for both lines. Offensive line two and blue liners number three. Everybody fresh and ready to rumble. So, let's see, we've got um, Olofsson with an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. He did penetrate, and he's got an inside shot. Goalie rating four, or save any forward. So, the score is 2-1. to one. Islanders winning 7-0-1 left in the second period. <clears throat> They're out shooting us 21-18, and now Gagne has an inside shot himself. Goalie rating eight, eight, and that's a goal. So now <clears throat> the Islanders are ahead three to one. Bobrovsky not playing well here. So Sam Gagne with a goal, Luke Pierre Dubois with the assistance, and Wierowinski as well. And we are going to have a face-off <clears throat> at center ice. Gallagher comes away with it for our Canadians. And Olofsson has an inside shot. Be nice if we could score here somewhere before the period's over and make it 3-2 at least going into the third. LeBlanc with the puck for him. Olofsson takes it away, has an outside shot. It's going to be a save in the left wing. Anders Lee comes away with it. Man, this is a, quite the team. McDavid, Anders Lee, Pulak, Rowenski. All right. Uh, Gallagher has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he did penetrate. So Gallagher inside. And that's going to be a save in the right wing. So Georgiev is, um, I won't say a brick wall because we do have a goal, but he is playing quite well. And McDavid is going to have an inside shot. That's You don't ever want to see that. And it's a save defensive center. So our center comes away with it. Lines are getting tired. Have to put it on pause again. We'll try to intimidate, but Atkinson gets through. And he has a save right wing. And now I will change my lines. We'll go to line three on the offense. And back to pairing number one.
So Radulov with the puck. Uh, he will try to intimidate. He doesn't. Ekblad gets inside. Save the left wing. That's Lekkonen for us. 30% intimidation. Going to try it. And um, Klingberg failed to do it. And Tyler Johnson has a goalie rating. Six goal. And now it's 4-1. to one. Islanders ahead. So this is really not looking good for us. Uh, we're being outshot 25 to 20, maybe 26 to 20 now. Yes, it is. That goal was by Tyler Johnson from Barzal and Ekblad, and we're down 4-1. You can see why Bobrovsky will not be playing nearly as much as I can avoid playing him once the real season starts, because I'm going to have like five or six goalies. Um, but Bobrovsky, no, not good. So Tate with an inside shot, going to be a save right wing, locking in with it. Strom with a breakaway, so break. he's right inside on top of him. Goalie rating eight, goal, and it's four to one. And pretty soon Bobrovsky's going to be tired, I'm sure. So that was their 28th shot. Strom with his uh, with the goal, and Brett Pesci and Robert Thomas. And now I have to also change lines again. So we have to go to line four. And defensive pairing two. This has really been a terrible game. Um. Yeah, five to one. I don't see us coming, but there's a minute 49 left in the third period, being outshot 28-20 and outscored 5-1. I don't see us coming back from that in one period. And Strom is inside on top of Bobrovsky, and that's going to be a lose to the left defenseman, and that's Jack Johnson. And he loses the puck to pull it. Zucker with a breakaway inside on top of Georgiev. That's a rebound. Any offensive player, I'm going to give it back to Zucker. I think I'm going to go with Zucker on that. And he has the rebound shot, and that's going to be nothing. It's going to be a save, and that's the end of the second period. With us losing badly going into the third by the score of 5-1 to one and being outshot 28-22. And Anders Lee comes away with the puck for the Islanders. He loses to Tom Wilson. And Anders Lee, outside shot. Right defenseman, save. And I am going to keep Bobrovsky in there as long as I can. As long as he doesn't get, like, turn yellow and get tired. Because um, the only alternative I have is Carey Price. And he played last game and here we go again with the tired players tom wilson with an outside shot and that's a goalie rating six goal so i cut the uh cut the deficit to three goals but that's not probably still good enough um i will change lines again we will go with line two and defensive pairing two And uh, and there we go, face off. We're being outshot 29-23 with 17-14 left and the score is five to two. Tyler Johnson comes away with the puck for the Islanders. I'll try to intimidate him at 60%. It does work, Jack Johnson gets the puck. 80%, gonna try to take it away again. They got it back and it doesn't work and Strom is inside shooting. Um, Bobrovsky, and that will be lose to the left defenseman. So New York comes away with the puck, though, and they have Bol Bolivier inside. That's a rebound. Offensive left wing with the rebound shot. Bolivier, that's going to be a lose to the right wing. And I have to get some fresh people out there as soon as I can. And I guess that's right now. They're going to let me do that. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to go with line three and pairing three. And 
Off we go. Five to two. Down five to two with 1350 left. And I will try to intimidate at 55%. And there's no penalty. And we do get the puck back. So Holden was successful in his intimidation, taking the puck away. Another 55%. We will try to take it away. And Holden does that again. And then we lose it to the other team. Ekblad has it for the Islanders. 45%. And Tyler Johnson inside on Bobrovsky. That's going to be a rebound. And the uh, Ekblad takes the rebound shot. And Bobrovsky makes the save there. And I have to get fresh legs out there as soon as I can again. And it looks like they're going to let me do it right now. So let's go for it. We're going to go to line four. And pairing two. Also, I want to point out that these aren't necessarily the lines I will have when I actually make my final CM. In fact, we haven't had our draft yet. I think I mentioned that in the last game. So we are still waiting on the draft, although really the draft isn't going to affect my lineup too much. Maybe the first guy I draft might make my lineup. And that depends on who it is. But um, generally, the guys you see out here, in some way, shape, or form on some line, are going to be most of the guys I will be playing. It just depends. And we've got a penalty by Jack Johnson. So, all right, well, we only have one guy tired now because of, he had to put out one of the penalty kill lines. So that's fine. I'll just stick with that and uh, well player for possession definitely Wilson now if you remember last game he's a good skater and I tried to skate with him every time he got the puck there he does do it and I'm gonna try it again and this time he doesn't do it again he can't manage to do it twice in a row he last game he had a problem doing that and McDavid takes it away and has an inside shot and that's going to be a rebound. And it goes to Flurry, and he is going to clear the puck. I'm just going to have him clear the puck. And Flurry again, I'm going to have him clear the puck. And Bolivier keeps it in and has an outside shot. And that's going to be to the center. But we don't have one because of the penalty. So it's an inside shot for Bolivier. And Bolivier loses it to the left wing, which we do have. He's a skating 14, so he will skate with the puck. And he does do it successfully once. And now we're back to even strength. 30% intimidation. I'm going to try that. It doesn't work. Rowenski is inside. Shooting, goalie rating, 7 some face off. So, we will take the face off to the right of Bobrovsky. And Atkinson with an inside shot. Right wing. And Gallagher comes away with it for us. Loses it to Tyler Johnson. 35% intimidation. 518 left in the game. It looks like, uh, oh my god, Nemeth is going to the box. So, I got a penalty kill unit out there, at least it's fresh. Um, I mean, like I said, we're losing by three. You're not going to make that up. I don't have that kind of offense. Um, Lowry has the puck. I'm going to um, clear the puck. And he was successful in clearing it. And intimidation, Nick Holden, 55%. He'll try it. It doesn't work. LeBlanc is inside shooting. That's going to be a save any. I'm going to give it to Klingberg. Yeah, that's fine. And he is uh, going to clear the puck. Got two tired guys out there. Barzal with an outside shot. That's save any. 
I'm going to give it to Franz Nielsen. And he is going to skate with the puck at least once, and he does do it, and now I'm just going to clear the puck. And uh, we Holden has it again. He's going to clear the puck. And he doesn't, and Ekblad has an outside shot. Lose to anyone, and we will give it, I guess, to Klingberg. And now we have new lines out there because the penalty is over. Um, we will try to intimidate Beauvillier at 35%, and that's a penalty. That's the uh, chance you take Radulov going to the box. So 304 left, we're down 5-2, being outshot massively 39 to 24. Uh, Wilson with the puck, I'm gonna try to skate with it. And it does work once, I'm gonna try to skate with it again. It does work twice, and now I'm gonna try to clear it. Only because in the real game, you have to clear it after two skates. But um, when I play my own league games, I skate with it as much as I can if the guy is good, like uh, Wilson is. Um, Lekkonen, I am going to skate with the puck once. He doesn't do it. Not even once this time. 1-14, to 14, he didn't do it. Player penetrates, and that's Pulak with an inside shot. Lose to the left defenseman. 206 left. Um, Jack Johnson with it. He's a 10 skater. Let's try skating with it once at least. He does do it. And now I'm going to try to clear it. And now uh, let's see here. Um, Jack Johnson with it again. I'm going to try to skate with it again. He doesn't do it that time. McDavid got inside. He has an inside shot. Goalie rating five, save either defenseman. And I'm gonna give it to Klingberg, sure. And now I have to pause the game. Oh no, I don't. Lee takes an inside shot. He takes the puck away, an inside shot, save left defenseman. I'm just gonna say next action card because I thought we were gonna be tired by then, but we only Wilson is. So intimidation, yes. One, no penalty. And the period's over, and we lose the game 5-2. to two. We were outshot massively 41-24. to 24. The stars of the game were Rowenski for the Islanders, Georgiev for the Islanders, and Devon Taze for the Islanders. So we lost a big one here. Um, not good. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. We're one and one in the preseason. Stay tuned for the next game against our next opponent, who I don't know who that'll be. I'll decide later.